On New Year's Eve in 2007, a young woman, Zio, gets on a crowded train and seemingly can't find her ticket. The ticket officer lets her know that he has come across several people that act like they have lost their tickets. A striking young man, Giant King, watches this and calls her to tell her that he has her ticket. Fast forward to the present, before the new year in 2018, Giant King is boarding a plane in business class. He hears a familiar sound, and much to his surprise, he finds Zio seated in the economy class. Both of them pass a gorgeous smile to each other. Back when they first met on the train, Zio tells Giant King and his friends that she belongs to their hometown, Yejong, as well. She gets along with Giant King very well as she is quite good at playing cards and drinking. Giant King admires her beauty and lets her know that she looks a lot younger for her age. When the train stops and can't move forward due to the bad weather conditions, Giant King comes up with a plan to carry out the rest of the travel to their home by foot. While they are walking, Zio stresses the fact that she has always had to face troubles while going back home on New Year, which is why she hates this time of the year as well. She also tells them that she once took a ride from a stranger and ended up becoming his girlfriend but broke up with him soon. Giant King gets closer to Zio. In the present day, the flight attendants have been told that their flight has been delayed due to poor weather conditions, and they would be accommodated at the nearest hotel. Giant King is given a top-tier room because of his first-class ticket, and he asks for another one for Zio. The receptionist says that she can't allow it as Zio belongs with the passengers in the economy class. They both agree on sharing a room together. When they get to the room, Zio says she can go to the lobby if he wants some time alone. Giant King asks if she's afraid that he would advance toward her without her consent. But Zio jokingly says that it's actually the other way around. Another flash from the past shows that Zio has made it back to her old flat and is alone that New Year's Eve. Giant King meets his father who's preparing a huge meal for the New Year's Eve dinner. His father believes that there's no future in creating video games, something Giant King wishes to do with his life. His father tells him to come back home once he is graduated. Giant King finds Sayo outside and makes fun of the shoes she's wearing. Giant King's father invites Sayo for dinner as well. Giant King's family and Sayo have a great dinner together. One of Giant King's aunts asks them about their relationship, to which Sayo immediately dismisses the conversation. After a nice time, Sayo tells them all that she would be visiting them next New Year's Eve too. Sayo and Giant King go for a walk after dinner. He lets her know that she is unlike any other he has ever met. He talks about his dream of making it big in Beijing, to which Sayo adds that Beijing really does change as a person. As the firework goes off, both of them wish on achieving great success and coming back to their homeland with success. Both of them are aware of how tough life can be in Beijing, especially financially, but they are bent on making a name for themselves there. One night on a dinner with Giant King and his friends, Sayo introduces them to her new boyfriend who has a PhD in law. While the rest of his friends are really impressed with her boyfriend, Giant King shows a bit of jealousy towards him. Zio boasts about her boyfriend's income and also the fact that he owns a huge house. Giant King gets more envious of the thought of how Zio can hang around with a guy like him. When Giant King calls for a toast, Zio's boyfriend tells her not to drink as it won't be good for her health and does the drinking himself. Giant King takes Zio and her hungover boyfriend back to their home and asks Zio if her boyfriend treats her well. Giant King tries to get romantic and asks her if her boyfriend would be willing to pick her stars from the sky or bring pearls from the ocean. Sayo laughs his question away. When Giant King gets into a fight with his manager over electricity, Sayo intervenes and ends the confrontation by using her charms to request the manager to let Giant King and his friends run their kiosk. Sayo has the ability to gain a lot of customers and persuade others in general. One of Giant King's friends arrives and informs them that his parents have called him back home as they have found a job for him. When they are having their farewell party, Giant King gets a phone call from Zio. He takes her stuff to one of his old apartments. Zio tells him that dinner with her boyfriend's parents didn't end well, as her boyfriend's mother was consistently showing a rude attitude towards her. A woman from a flat nearby arrives and tries to flirt with Giant King. But Zio pretends to be Giant King's girlfriend so that the woman can't get to him. When they are trying to get some sleep at night, they hear sounds of a couple getting romantic with each other in another flat. Giant King hands Sayo a music player so that she can avoid listening to the couple's noise. That night after using the restroom, Giant King accidentally gets into bed with Sayo, and he suddenly remembers that he was actually sleeping on the floor. He slowly gets down in order to avoid waking her up. The next day, Giant King sends one of their customers over to Sayo, saying that the customer would find better products from her. Giant King is once again surprised to witness how well Zio can deal with others. Giant King moves back to his old apartment with Zio, as he has now left his job. Giant King is selling video games near a subway station, and Zio arrives to show off her new wig. She opens up about dating the customer Giant King sent to her. When a man, who was looking to purchase a game from Giant King, tries to flirt with Zio, Giant King gets into a small confrontation with him. Zio jokingly calls for an inspector and anyone who was trying to sell pirated stuff runs away. That night, Zio asks Giant King if he smokes or not, to which he answers no. When they are in bed, Zio thinks Giant King is asleep and silently asks 
if he's falling for her or not. The couple next door gets romantic once again, but this time Zio also counters them by making romantic sounds as well. She asks Jiyanking to do the same. The next day, Zio appears and shows off her new cell phone her boyfriend gifted her. Jiyanking gets upset and asks if she's falling for the right person. On 2008 New Year's Eve, both Zio and Jiyanking are partying and drinking. Jiyanking assures her that the coming year would be auspicious for both of them. He tells her that if two miserable people end up with each other, both of them are destined to achieve success. As they count down to the new year, they both hug each other tightly. Having feelings for Zio, Jiyanking tries to make out with her. They both share their very first kiss which also leads to them having a romantic moment. On New Year's Day, Jiyanking runs to his apartment to meet Zio, now his beloved girlfriend. He doesn't find her there, so he tries calling her. Zio doesn't pick up the call for the entire day. When she does pick up, Jiyanking shouts at her for being irresponsible and not treating him with enough respect. Zio ends the call by asking him if they can still be friends. In the present day in the hotel room, when remembering Zio's phone call answer, both of them laugh at how silly the answer was. They also reminisce about the romantic moment they shared and how Jiyanking was nervous while he was in that moment. But after a few minutes, both of them sit in silence, thinking about how things could have been better for both of them. Back when Zyro decided to reunite with Jiyanking, she heads back to his flat but can't seem to find him anywhere. When she asks the man from the room next door, he indicates that Jiyanking is in jail. Zyro spends 2008 New Year's Eve with Jiyanking's family, and lies to them by saying that he is actually working on New Year's Eve. She hands out presents to Jiyanking's parents. While packing food for Zyro, Jiyanking's father told her the story of how Jiyanking wanted to buy an authentic PC video game, after they crossed a store when he was just a boy. A young Jiyanking locked his father in the bathroom and wouldn't let him out until he bought the game for him. His father bought Jiyanking the game but also worries that he might have contributed to Jiyanking's dream of creating video games. He asks Zio if there's a future in the industry Jiyanking is pursuing. Zio leaves after having to spend the entire New Year's Eve without Jiyanking. Zio is outside the prison, waiting for Jiyanking to be released. Zio is aware that Jiyanking served time in jail for beating up Zio's boyfriend. Zio has also broken up with her boyfriend. Both of them share a romantic kiss once again this time solidifying their status as a couple. Both of them are now enjoying their new life as true lovers. One night, Jiyanking is working on his new game and teaches Zio the concept of the game. The main character of the game is named Ian whereas his love interest is named Kelly. Jiyanking tells Zio that when Kelly is not around Ian, his life becomes colorless. Zio inquires why can't a game have a happy story from start to finish to which Jiyanking responds that misfortune is always a story, not happiness. In the present, Jiyanking's son calls him and asks him to show him if there are cars in the room he is currently staying in. Jiyanking does and Zio changes her position as Jiyanking moves so that she doesn't get caught by Jiyanking's son. Zio goes outside and calls Jiyanking as well. Back in the past, Jiyanking and Zio promise each other that they would work hard to become wealthy. Both of them are working extremely hard in order to make ends meet. But they have also accepted the fact that living alone in Beijing won't do any favors to them. Both Zio and Jiyanking work not just for money but for each other's happiness. One day, Zio calls Jiyanking home early with the excuse that she's sick. In reality, she called him so that she could ask him to take a sofa back home she just found. Jiyanking agrees and both take it back home. Jiyanking tries to be romantic with her again. But this time he goes ahead and asks her about starting a family. She says that it won't be worth it considering the possibility of them breaking up in the future. Fast forward to the present, Jiyanking asks Sayo about her current situation. She says that she makes her living by selling anything that can be sold. She also confesses that she hasn't met anyone that's worthwhile, even after dating a man for whom she took English classes for almost a year. She, later on, messes with Jiyanking that she has met a highly rich man, who has bought a mansion in Beverly Hills in Los Angeles. Before the new year in 2009, both Sayo and Jiyanking travel for dinner with their old friends. Jiyanking is a bit upset to see his friends doing extremely well whereas he hasn't accomplished much yet. Later on, he overhears a conversation between his friends, where they feel sorry for Jiyanking as they believe he needs to be earning a lot more in order to live a great life. Jiyanking gets drunk and tries to pay a huge bill for the diner, but his friends stop him. While at home, his father tells him that he doesn't have to pretend that he's rich in front of his friends, but Jiyanking disagrees as he needs to show himself as wealthy, otherwise no one would be around him. His father packs lunch for the road for Zio and Jiyanking. While they are on their way back home, Zio tells him not to worry about his future as he never wished to be highly materialistic. Jiyanking thinks of it the wrong way and asks her if she's trying to tell him that he could never make it big. Zio ends the conversation by saying that he should figure out what he really wants to do with his life. While working at a customer service department, Jiyanking goes off on a rude customer, who later appears in the office and gets Jiyanking beaten up. 
Having gone through a tough day, Jiankin gets drunk again while having dinner with Sayo. He goes berserk after he tries to fight a few men nearby. Sayo once again intervenes and stops Jiankin from creating trouble for both of them. At this point, Sayo has had enough of Jiankin's awful behavior. Sayo is working as a real estate agent and one of her customers even tries to get closer to her. Jiankin is looking for a new apartment with the help of an online real estate agent. Sayo is astonished to find out that he didn't ask her instead. Jiankin gets a call from the landlord, who informs him to vacate the apartment for a few days as the landlord's relatives would be using it. Both of them pack their stuff up and leave to live in a much smaller area. Jiankin has almost given up on making it big and spends much of his time playing games. His father calls to ask him if he would be coming home for New Year's Eve, but Jiankin gets rude and ends the call after wishing his father Happy New Year. After not paying any attention to Zio for days, she tells him that it's best to not see each other after a breakup. She packs her bag and leaves Jiankin's life for good. Jiankin notices and rushes to find Zio. He meets her on a subway train, but knowing that he has messed up her life as well, he makes the tough decision of letting her go forever. In the present, Zio lets him know that if Jiankin had the courage to step into the train all those years ago, she would have stayed with him forever. But she also adds that eventually, they would have broken up in the end. Jiankin puts out a series of what-ifs but Sayo is still adamant that both of them would have gone their separate ways, even including in the scenarios where Jiankin would have made a lot of money much earlier, and both of them would have married soon. Jiankin takes her hand and both of them head back to the hotel room. Sayo says that she doesn't want to go back in, but agrees to drive back with him to Beijing. Both of them laugh at the fact that every New Year's Eve they both have faced trouble traveling back to their home. Zio also jokingly mentions that she is the reason that all of her ex-boyfriends are highly affluent right now as if she blessed their life with good fortunes. As both of them laugh at their memories, they soon break down crying as Jiankin believes that he can't do anything for her, and that their past is in front of their eyes. Back in the past, after thinking with a clear mind, Jiankin gets back on track and starts to work on his game. The breakup has given him a new chance to make it big and a breath of fresh air as well. He really plans on making his life good now. After finishing the game, he uploads it on the internet. He starts working as a delivery guy and he almost bumps into Zio a few times as well. He notices that people around the city are really enjoying his game and finds that his game had made him a lot of money as well. He signs a contract with a much bigger company, which adds more to his newly gained success. Zio sees him in an interview, where he says that the game was inspired by the day he and Zio had to go to the apartment by stairs, and how they both needed to stay close to each other. While buying a new apartment, he notices a glimpse of Zio and the real estate agent. When he's standing on the balcony, he watches the old sofa go away, the one that Zio desired. Jiankin tries to communicate with Zio, but she chooses not to respond. He insists she joins his family's traditional New Year's Eve dinner. She attends and after the dinner, Jiankin asks his father to come and live with him. His father believes that he's better off where he's staying. At one point, Jiankin gets a bit rude, but his father rebukes him and tells him that he has made up his mind. Jiankin goes out after having his mood upset. Sayo goes right after him. Jiankin tells that he tried to do everything for her but in the end, he still doesn't completely understand her. In the present, Zio and Jiankin share a smoke and he tells her that his father would always look forward to her visiting them on New Year's Eve when she stopped visiting. When his father got old, he would mistake Jiankin's wife for Zio. Jiankin drops Zio back at her home, and this time they bid each other farewell the proper way. Jiankin wishes that she finds the right person for her. They both hug and they part their ways for good. While he's in his home, Jiankin finds a letter written by his father for Zio. Jiankin later tries to spend his time with his son. Zio reads Jiankin's father's letter in which he addresses that Jiankin is now more mature because of her. He also let her know that in his last days, he was completely aware that they both weren't a couple anymore, which was totally fine as deciding who you're going to spend the rest of your life with isn't an easy decision. He ends the letter by saying that she would always be a part of their family and wishes her the best life possible. Zio tears up and finishes Jiankin's game with a beautiful smile on her face.